1. Get frugal hobbies and entertainment. Some pastimes, such as renting movies or going shopping, can be quite costly. Others, like stamp collecting, are less expensive. My grandma enjoyed reading books from the library, going for walks outside, visiting relatives and friends, and listening to music. She hardly ever watched television. 2. Never go into debt and always save money for a rainy day. My grandmother's generation did not believe in debt. Hence, she was never in debt or even had a credit card. She paid cash for whatever she required. She kept her dollar bills and only purchased items when she had enough money. She set aside money for things that were essential to her. 3. Concentrate on the big picture. Not long ago, on a winter night, my grandmother died peacefully in her sleep. The most essential lesson mother taught me was to prioritize living a decent life and loving your family over money and possessions. She had a fantastic life thanks to these lessons. I hope these lessons have also inspired you. 4. Make your gym outside. My grandmother could still bend down and touch her toes at the age of 90 and was fit enough to live to the age of 100. She never spent $100 at the gym, but she walked outside every day and in her younger years she used to do cross-country running. I have nothing against the gym, but studies show that running outside rather than on a treadmill makes you fitter due to the hills and additional resistance training provided by the natural elements of wind and terrain. I believe the same may be true of going for a walk outside. 5. Recycle old coffee cans. I recall seeing old coffee cans filled with pens, tape, and other objects. Rather than paying for storage, we may save money by reusing old containers that formerly held your favorite coffee or spaghetti sauce. I save old jam jars, mayonnaise jars, and other glass jars to make handmade items, sauces, jams, and to preserve leftovers. I also do this with old yogurt tubs. On the other hand, old coffee and pecans may be easily reused for anything you need to organize. 6. Create your own coffee and drinks. They were frugal, but that didn't mean they didn't enjoy food and drink. They simply produced them themselves at home. Depending on how much you already spend on coffee or lattes, brewing your own at home might save you hundreds to thousands of dollars per year. There's no need to spend money on an expensive latte or espresso machine. Most lattes can be made using a blender. Even wine and beer were occasionally prepared at home. Homemade lemonade and hot cocoa. 7. Produce your own layered. Instead of wasting away pork fat, save it and use it to produce your own lard for cooking and baking. Cut up the pig fat into small pieces. Then bake on low for the majority of the day in a slow cooker. Occasionally mash it with a potato masher. Allow it cool somewhat before straining through cheesecloth or a fine mesh strainer and pouring into jars. Many people still retain pig bits in their dishes like bacon. 8. Spending less than what you earn. During this period, this was a philosophy and value that was frequently passed down through the generations. Most high-income individuals who are able to accumulate large wealth have the habit of living below their means rather than within their means. This is how we generate financial margin to save, contribute, and invest it. 9. Avoid all forms of waste. Nothing was thrown away, including food, clothing scraps, and containers. Throwing things out was not worth it to them at a time when resources were already scarce. We can still use old t-shirts and towels to manufacture rags nowadays. We can use used sheets as quilt backings. Old oatmeal bowls can be painted and used as toy storage bins. Every time we reuse something we already own, we buy one less item and save money. 10. Never stick to a recipe. To put it another way, eat simply. My grandmother was the best cook I'd ever encountered presenting her dishes with both beauty and taste. But she didn't waste her time trying the latest Gordon Ramsay recipe, which called for unusual and expensive ingredients. She kept her recipes simple and made do with what she had on hand. Consider roast chicken served with twice, baked potatoes, and a simple side salad. For lunch, make sandwiches with veggies, sliced cheese, or meat on or between slices of bread. Elegant, but straightforward. If this video helped you, support me by hitting the like button. Thank you for the support. 11. Keep heirlooms in mind. Silverware, jewelry, and other artifacts can be discarded, sold, or kept. Having valued goods that have been passed down may not be an obvious old-fashioned money-saving strategy, but if you already have them and enjoy them, what is the point of purchasing expensive items? My grandparents owned silverware that had been passed down through family and relatives. They not only took wonderful care of them, but they also used them frequently, 
and I never saw them go out and buy the latest or most expensive silverware set. 12. Potlucks and Picnics Picnics and potlucks qualify as an old-fashioned money-saving trick, right? Potlucks were by far the most popular way for people to share meals, in large groups since they were inexpensive, and picnics are a wonderful alternative to eating out. You still get to eat outdoors without spending a lot of money. I didn't make any memories with them at the restaurant, but I did go to the beach to enjoy the lovely summer sun and cuisine. Who knew we were saving money as well? 13. Forage, Hunt, and Fish they ate everything from raccoon to squirrel to rabbit to prairie chicken to veal and whatever fish they could get their hand on. It was considered fair game and was used in Depression-era dinners. But wait, there's more. Dandelions relied on others to survive. Dandelions were frequently the only produce available in the Midwest where produce was scarce. Dandelions can be sauted, but they can also be converted into wine. 14. Gratitude and Optimism while it may have been tempting to be grumpy at this time, many individuals opted to be thankful for their daily bread. If you will, the American spirit never truly died. During this period, board games, radio nights, and even cookbooks by Betty Crocker and Fanny Farmer were popular. 15. Fillers for Meals If beans, lentils, oatmeal, and stale breadcrumbs helped stretch meat, fillers like dumplings, handmade bread, rice, and potato supplemented meals and filled tummies on the cheap. 16. Washing clothes by hand. Rather than always relying on the washing machine, here's how to wash clothes without electricity if you've ever wondered. You will save money on your electricity bill. 17. Wash dishes by hand. While using a dishwasher saves water, it might cost a lot in electricity. To save water, hand wash dishes in a small amount of water. 18. Do not purchase what you can make. Yogurt is an excellent illustration of this. It's simple to make at home and costs a fraction of what store-bought does. 19. Compost Composting food scraps to add to your food garden is the ultimate in recycling and saving money. Saving money and reducing waste never gets old. These inexpensive techniques from our grandparents' age will never go out of stock. 20. Make use of unexpected hacks Did you know that an onion may be used to clean? You can save a lot of money by using these old-fashioned cleaning techniques. Alternatively, experiment with fresh ideas and discover what else you can do using Dawn dish soap, dryer sheets, and toothpaste. Thanks for watching.